Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can delete imported CAD files from your Revit project. As you can see, I have here my sample project, which has a lot of views. And as you probably know, if you go to manage links, to CAD formats, you will find only the linked DWGs, but you will not find imported ones. I'm not going to now talk about that you should not import DWG, but if someone use this tool to import the CAD file into your project you are basically lost and you cannot find like where in which view it is imported so i will now show you one tool with the help of dynamo script and dynamo player how you can find them and delete them from your project so if you open the dynamo player in here under the manage tab it will open you the player with the selected dynamo script which is the script that i have created exactly for this purpose and you can download it from the link below for free which i will leave in the description of this video so if you go here now click on this thing you will see the delete imported cat files which basically you have some description here then we will find all the cat files links and imports in revit file find where they are where they are placed who made them and you can choose to delete the imports only the imports or not so you can see something like this you have some inputs and outputs you can choose like if you want to delete it or no so true means yes and false means no now i will leave it with the false so it will just tell us what we have in the project and then you have some outputs which is the creator here it is like only me so it will be me but in the work shared project, it will be the one who created it. Then instance, if it is linked or not, who last changed it and the owner view, this is the most important one. So this will be the view where it is located. Now, if you never use Dynamo, you will probably see this missing dependencies, which is telling you that you are missing some packages, which I have used to create this graph. So we will need to go into the Dynamo to download them and I will show you how to do this. So if you go back and you go on the script, you will see a pencil in here which says edit in Dynamo. So if you open this, it will open up the script inside of the Dynamo itself. And you can see here, this is the script, how it looks like. And you can see some missing things in here that it is missing some notes. So what you need to do now is to take a look here on the sidebar and you can see some bmorph node and archilab net that it needs to be installed and you see some big red x in here that says that it is missing so what you just need to do is to go and click on the first one and go with the installed specified version now go with just okay 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 and it will be installed then do the same with the second one and it will be installed as well. If you have done it right, you will see green tick in here next to the both of these packages. And you will also see in the graph that nothing is now screaming on you and everything is like this, like blackish. So now we can close this and go back to our Revit project and our Dynamo player. So now if we again click on this script, it will open up the script itself and now we just need to press run and you can see here a creator some instances and if i will scroll down you will see some instance if it is linked you can see false false and true this means that these two first and the second one are the ones which were imported and the third one is linked here in the last thing owner view you can see the name of the view so if i will just now go and find it in the project browser if i go with my l1 wall base you can actually find it in here if i will go into the visibility and graphics into my imported categories you can see this is my dwg imported cat file so this is how you can find them and now if i want to delete them i just need to scroll back up and say here that i want to change this to be true this will delete only the import instances so only the ones which are imported not linked so when I set it to true and I press run, it will run the script. 
and you will see that only the import instance which is linked is being left and the ones which were imported are deleted so if i will now go back to the view and do the same thing go with the imported categories you can see that it is clean now so this is how you can use my script and you can either find where the cat files are located in the project or you can directly use it to delete the files so again you can find it in the description below